Welcome to Global 14. The cut goes down every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Pacific. Both hosts on the line with you, Onyx and Golden Fleece. And we are live as Thomas DJ Baby Drew is on the line with us. What's good? What's good? I'm hearing the latest in the news, and I want to ask you, and I um, hate to put you on the spot, but the, the, of course it came out, I think it was it yesterday or last night, something about Chris Brown is, is about to give up the music, he's tired of being, you know, recognized in a negative light and not for, you know, more positive things. I didn't understand at first what he was going through, because I didn't go through it, but just being on Love and Hip Hop and seeing how hard it is to, basically to for me, to hold your tongue on certain mm-hmm. things like I, there's there's like so many things that people come they just like they just say about you and you're just like you don't even know me like why would you say that about mm-hmm. me why is your life that miserable that you have to say some some negative things about me so he's mm-hmm. famous i'm like d-list celebrity he's a-list celebrity so i can just mm-hmm. imagine that this as times 10 that he gotta he mm-hmm. gotta go through that so like at first i didn't understand but now i'm like yo i don't know how i would personally or the regular person would personally be able to handle it because you know you, you make a mistake five years ago and it's still synonymous with your name and it's like you know mm-hmm. i don't get it mm-hmm. i don't get it so right, i mean right. i i I, pro- I think i think he was frustrated and i don't know if he's necessarily going to give up music there's no way he loves it too much and i don't mm-hmm. see that ever happening I don't, mm-hmm. I don't see that happening at all very enlightened conversation about that chris brown thing i'm glad that you know um you said that you know he loves the music too much. He wasn't quit. He won't quit. He's a super talent, man. So Chris Brown, keep your head up, homie. You know what I'm saying? And um, hopefully we continue getting that great music and um, seeing those great dance steps. But um, yeah, man, we you, you know you you're not off the hook, DJ Baby Truly. <laughs> you, you, you oh, I know. Him. You killed the cast member on that uh, show, man. Uh, the guy that Tracy still. Uh, what's about the date, man? We got to talk about that because that that was like hilarious, man. Um, were you were you really upset that um not not upset? I don't want to use the word upset, but were you were you yeah I wasn't like, upset. Yeah, you wasn't upset. You were just yeah, kind of no, like upset. no, you can't you can't date that guy. What are you, what's wrong with you? Yeah, I remember one scene where you, you came up to on the side of the DJ booth and you were like, yo, your man's ugly, yo. And I was like, <laughs> wow, right? I was like yeah, this cat holds no, he don't hold nothing back. You just creeped up on the side of her ear and was like, yo, your man's ugly. Yo. I guess, okay, so let me explain. <laughs> um, so all the years that I've been dating, Tracy has given me hell and every woman in my life, hell. So this was my time to be like, okay, Tracy, I got you now. <laughs> So, I mean, I, okay, it was 20% of me jealous and 80% of me like, I'm about to give you hell. So that was it. I was trying to make up for all the time she's giving me hell by giving her a little <laughs> hell herself. We've just been having a great time on the show with Drew and Mel Love talking about you and Drew's dynamic on the show, the the dope uh, words that you guys are adding to the dictionary and giving us the microwavable <laughs> holes, the popcorn holes, the thighs. We just really yeah. appreciate that shit because it's dope. And we've been talking about it all night long. And he was like, you know what? I'm going to call Tracy. We appreciate you even picking up the phone and, and getting on with us, man. It's, it's good to have you on. Tracy, can I ask you, when you talk about the popcorn holes, it's such a seriousness behind it. When you see these <laughs> girls, you're like, yo, you really are microwavable. You just pop right out and then you get thrown away afterwards. You feel, yeah, you really feel that way is. about them, don't you? Like I said, I, you know, I would be just talking to my friends and saying how these women are just in and out. They quit, they move fast. And it just popped in my head one day. It was like they they come in and out like as fast as you could pop popcorn, and <laughs> you know, it was, or you know, a microwavable dinner. They they're in and out just as fast as you can make up my boy microwavable dinner, and that's just how the whole thing came. And me and my friends would say it to each other and not think anything of it. And then I said it on the show because that's my normal. That's how I normally speak. And next thing you know, it's this huge phenomenon almost like it's like everybody <laughs> everybody is using the word it's in the urban dictionary i'm blown away i can't believe 
you know, yes. something that I just Perfect yeah, something that, <laughs> that I just made up. But you know, at the same time, I'm not calling every chick on the planet a popcorn whore or, my, or a microwave with this. I just sure. I'm just saying what I've seen with Big Drew and how he runs right. with these chicks. That right. you know, that's what I'm addressing. So a lot of the times, people get offended. A lot of it, it's mostly the chicks who are like strippers or like. <laughs> the goofy hoes are like, they get super offended and they come on my page and they go, Cam. And then, like, the baby mamas, they're like my biggest supporters and they love me to death. Oh, but, like, man. anybody who has, like, a profile pic of their ass out, they come on my mm-hmm. page going in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, man. I want to tell you, um, DJ Tracy, so that it was amazing that, um, I loved your position in in the situations with concerning like Rashida when you had went to her and said, "Hey, I let you know what you know what I ran into when I went to the you know the the yeah, party." I think when I had my event, right? Yes, 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 yes ma'am. Right. And then um, I was not expecting that at all. Yo, when I say that came to the left, I'm at my event. Really, we're filming, and I get that we're filming and. And, you know, the mm-hmm. only thing, that, like I said, is everything is real. They don't send nothing up except for the location. So I thought they were going to come really just to film Pretty Girls Live. So when I mm-hmm. see Kirk in home, girl, I was like, oh, hell no. And let me tell you what's even crazier. They cut out parts. Me and home girl got into it. Mm. Uh, and they oh. cut all of that out. They cut all that out. And maybe because they didn't want to make me seem like I'm mm-hmm. popping off at everybody. But... When I swear for God, I saw this bitch and flashed back to my life. And, mm-hmm. and right. wait, went, went in on her. Like, yo, you know he married? Really? Right. This is the type of chick you are? So, and she's like, well, that's his problem. Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, baby, so this is the type of bitches you, you fuck mm-hmm. with? So this is who you hang with? Like, yeah, so they yeah. cut all that out.